So apparently, Nikon just bought red. You heard that right. There's a lot of speculation, a lot of people just talking about what this means. I personally don't know what that's gonna mean for the future of Nikon or RED. Quite frankly, they could probably just still be both separate entities just under one roof. What's even crazier is that two years ago, RED sued Nikon because they supposedly stole their compression rates or whatever when it came to compressing files. And then the case was simply just dismissed, just gone and... But then Nikon just went and did a big bold move after that and was just like, you know what, we just, we're just gonna buy red. And you know what, there's a lot of things that can be said about that, but in today's video, I kinda wanna talk about some of the speculations, but then also what really could happen now that Nikon owns RED. Nikon's acquisition of RED makes it a significant milestone for the video camera industry. For years, RED has been synonymous to cutting edge technology and just making really high-end good quality cameras. I mean, they were on the Netflix approved cameras for a very long time, probably one of the first cameras outside of Arri Alexis. But now by joining forces with RED, Nikon now has access to the digital expertise of RED's technology behind their cinema cameras. For the longest time, Nikon, especially in the video world, I'm not talking about photography here, but in the video world, Nikon has been at the bottom of the list. I know several people that use Nikons that make high quality, great content. I remember working for a TV studio a few years back and my boss had ordered three Nikon D5s in order for us to go on the road and to record a bunch of interviews. At the time I was just like, I don't, I don't really understand why he went with Nikons, why couldn't they have gone with Sony's, Panasonic, until I got a hold of the camera and we started recording. My gosh, those D5s for their time were insane. The image quality that came out of them was quite frankly top notch and those were mirrored cameras. Just wanted to point that out, they, they are mirrored cameras. Nikon has a place in the video world but it was always down at the bottom. With their acquisition of RED now, what does that mean for creators? There's a potential here, there really is a potential here to bring RED's technology into the Nikon camera. Imagine a world where Nikon DSLRs and Nikon mirrorless cameras are capable of capturing RED quality footage. With all that dynamic range, color accuracy, and all the detail that RED cameras are known for. If that is something that's in the pipeline, that is actually really exciting because it could be a more affordable option than buying a RED camera. Buying a Nikon camera might be the new budget-friendly RED camera. Of course, it's important to note that while this acquisition has a ton of potential behind it, it's also a transitional period. We don't know what's going down the pipeline. We haven't really heard any leaks, or as of this video at least, haven't heard of any leaks or anything like that. Quite frankly, what I think might happen is that these two companies will be separate entities under one roof. Maybe they'll dabble a little bit with putting a each other's technology in each camera, which I don't understand why they would put any of Nikon's tech in RED cameras, but for sure, I can see Nikon grabbing a few things from RED in order to implement into their cameras. But it'll be fascinating to see how Nikon and RED collaborate and how they work together and what products that they come out with, whether it's cameras, lenses, just this whole cinematography world is now going to be way more exciting. Nikon is definitely trying to get in the game along with Sony and Canon. All right, well, that's it for today's video. Heard about this news, wanted to make a video about it. Um, this is a new type of video. If you like this type of video, let me know in the comments below. Tell me what you think. What, do you think Nikon is going to bring RED's technology into their cameras? Are they gonna be two separate entities? Let's start a discussion down in the comments below. That would be super awesome. Hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. We have a ton to talk about. Hit the notification bell so that you're notified when I post more videos. And I will see you in the next video.